in Math 114 at Liberty, we have projects. And so in addition to the homework and quizzes, we have three projects residentially. The first project is the mortgage payments project where we compare 15 year mortgages versus 30 year mortgages. Now, this project is actually done in module four. So you can find the assignment there or by going to the assignments in Canvas. This is something that will be turned in in Canvas. You'll turn in two documents. The first document you're going to turn in is a document in a Word document that you're going to answer the questions that are asked. And so you can see the instructions here that are available to download. And if you want, you can download the instructions and type your answers straight into the instructions document and then upload that. The other thing you're going to want to do is upload an Excel file. So what actually needs to be done in Excel for this project is that it wants you to use Excel, particularly the Excel functions PMT and PV to answer some questions. So your Excel document only has to have just to show that you're using it to do your calculations. I don't want you to do your calculations by hand for this project. I want you to use Excel. So turn in both the Word document that has your written answers and the Excel document that shows that you did them using an Excel formula. So there's a few parts to this. The first part is say that a family is purchasing a house with a $230,000 mortgage and an annual interest rate of 5%. And obviously we know that their monthly payment is going to depend on how quickly they plan on paying it back. It then describes an Excel function called PMT and it says you can use PMT to calculate the monthly payment. And then it asks you to go ahead and calculate it uh, if they use a 15 year mortgage or a 30 year mortgage. And then they ask you to do a couple things to talk about the total amount of interest paid and then what would be the total amount of interest paid uh, in the other a standard rule for lenders is that you shouldn't take out too much like all of your money can't go to rent because you have other bills and so all of your money can't go to your house payment and so the percent we're going to use for this problem is 28 percent so the second problem asks you to instead of calculating the monthly payment saying like this family makes good money makes seven thousand per month and i want you to make a change in the document I want you to make sure that it says 1700 down here. Now that's a mistake and sometimes if yours is already fixed, that's great. But if not, I want you to make sure you make a change that should say 1700 monthly payment. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, listen, if they have $1,700 to spend on housing, how much house can they afford? And so I want you to calculate backwards using the Excel function PV. And the description of that is right there. Questions three and four, which are the last questions on project one, ask you to answer with at least 100 words on each of them and discuss some of the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of having a 30 year or 15 year mortgage and talk about what you would do and what you would think is wiser for this family. And then also in four, it references Proverbs 22, seven, which says the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is the slave of the lender. In light of that verse and you know other verses in the Bible, I want you to make a response of what you think is the biblical approach to taking on debt or which type of mortgage should that really be a factor when you're looking at it from a biblical worldview. Please provide a response of at least 100 words. I'm not looking for a big, deep theological uh, discussion. You don't need to go into the Greek origins of any of the words. But I want to see that you've considered that what the Bible has to say about debt and lending. For the first project, there is a grading rubric that gives you a kind of idea. Now, this is meant to really guide you through the assignment. Uh, check yourself since it's the first project that you're going to get graded for this course. So kind of follow through and make sure that you have met the requirements to get the maximum points. Please pay close attention to any additional specifications provided by your professor. If you are confused or you're like, how should I uh, submit this or do something like that, please defer to your professor. But I would say you want to make sure you remember to submit this on time and submit both the Word document and the Excel document.